Zion has in-house entertainment now from his girl. She's a porn star. Right, he at home watching TV. He like, hey, babe, come on. <laughs> come on, babe. Your lower extremities were compromised. Evidently, not all of them. And I've been wondering what the hell is taking you so long to get healthy. Well, now I know. He ain't gotta go to the strip club. He's just, just right there. Going, just throwing on the back. No wonder you ain't healthy. We need those legs spry. Guys say uh, Toronto, New York, and Dallas. Who are Dallas, bro? Who are Dallas, bro? Dallas <laughs> is amazing. Let's just say this story might give folks cause to pause. If you were redrafting the 2019 NBA draft, who would you take number one? The argument used to be a clear one. Would you take Zion Williamson or would you take Ja Morant? And we also used to think that the future of the NBA was in good hands with superstars Zion Williamson and Ja Morant, former number one and two picks who had immediate tremendous success and had us all waiting for the certainty that they were going to take the leap and become become the NBA's top players. Instead though, in their fourth seasons, in a year where many players do take that leap and end up finding tremendous playoff success, or at the very least take a step forward in their careers, if you were to redraft the 2019 draft, Darius Garland might be your automatic first pick due to the fact that he is one, an all-star, and two, you might not want to touch Zion Williamson or John Morant with a 10-foot pole and I would not blame you. There is certainly a chance that both of those situations do not work themselves out. We have seen that happen in the past in the NBA. We have seen young players throw their careers away. For this video, we're going to focus on Zion. So speaking on Zion, it's just like my man, where is your head at for real? Do you wanna be an NBA legend, an NBA champion, a superstar icon? You know, do you wanna live the life that all of us dream about? Or do you want your number one Google search for real to be something like Zion Williamson's latest allegations? Come on now. So what's up guys, Mike here. And today we are going to just answer the question. Should the Pelicans give up on Zion? Should they trade him away before it is too late. And I say before it's too late because Zion is about to enter into a max contract that takes him into the year 2028. And in 2028, he will be paid $44 million. So if you are the Pelicans, you better be sure that Zion's head is ready to be that franchise superstar if you are not trading him. And if we are being real, on the court, Zion has given us only the play of a true, true superstar. There is certainly something to bet on here for sure. In the 90 game, Zion has has played between the ages of 20 and 22. He's averaged 26.7 points per game on over 60% shooting. That is while playing through an inconsistent schedule. That is while playing through these controversies. On the court, Zion has been incredible. But before we continue, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Ridge. And I also wanna ask you one of two questions. One, have you ever received a bad Father's Day gift? Or two, are you like me? And do you have no idea what to give your father for Father's Day? It seems like the man has at all and if he does not it seems like he he's not happy with what i've given him well luckily if you are like me ridge has us covered ridge has redefined the wallet it is the last wallet you are ever going to need and also they just so happen to have a huge father's day sale the ridge wallet expands to hold up to 12 cards plus room for cash while remaining as slim as possible compared to your old bulky dad wallets and you will see ridge compares very very well. Ridge has 30 plus colors and styles, including carbon fiber, burnt titanium, forged ember. Ridge also already has 3 million customers and 50,000 five-star reviews. And Ridge is so confident in their product, they will send you a test drive for 99 days. If you do not like it, you can send it back, which means find the best Father's Day gift right now. Go to ridge.com slash Corzemba and save up to 40%. That is ridge.com slash Corzemba for the best Father's Day gift and just just for the best types of wilds in general. Pick yourself out one. Trust me, they are amazing. And for now, let's get back into the video. And also, this has led to wins. The Pelicans were the number one seed in the Western Conference this very season. So the question is headed into next season, are we ever going to see Zion's dominant play for an extended period of time? And that is a fair question to ask, because at this point, we have to be wondering, where is Zion's head at? This is far from the Kobe Bryant mindset we have heard. The mindset we have been told 
old is required to become a true superstar in the NBA. Because at the end of the day, you need tremendous work ethic. You need to work relentlessly to become an NBA legend. Guys like Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, they all love basketball to an absurd degree. And that love has driven them to work tirelessly and has paid off in the way of big time returns from injuries, as well as Hall of Fame careers. And since entering the NBA, would any of us say that Zion looks like he loves basketball off the court? Looks like he loves a lot of things. Right now, I would not put basketball number one or number two. Family number one, but it's still not number two. Now, I, of course, am not in Zion's brain. But the questions here have continued to surround him and they've continued to get, well, distracting would be an understatement. And so my question is, why is Zion taking so long to come back from this injury? Combined with, why are NBA legends yelling at him to get his head on straight before it's too late? With that said, at this point in time, I do want to slow down and say, Zion is definitely still a young guy in the league, and this could easily be a wake-up call for him. Embarrassing moments like this can leave a mark because you simply do not want them to ever happen again. I don't even want to talk on Zion's business in that way, to be honest. What is really just concerning to me is the facts on the basketball court 90 games in the last three years is not acceptable if he's going to be paid 40 million dollars a year and it really feels like there is just a lack of urgency to get back out there on the court i'm not doubting his performance on the court i'm not doubting his mindset on the court but why has zion continued to not get healthy as he's continued to be out of shape you do have control with how much food you eat you do have control with that let's be real and if you're coming back from a major injury it is in your best interest to be in the best shape possible. Zion Williamson as a professional athlete is failing to meet up to that standard. And really, to me, that just is really unfortunate because at his best, Zion is a walking human highlight reel. Shout out Dominique. But really, when we are watching Zion on the court, we are watching the embodiment of true young greatness. If we remember, even at Duke, he had this game winner against North Carolina. Now Williamson out top, gonna go one-on-one. -on -one. Behind the back, spinning on Little, up, no good, follow, yo! Oh, just pure strength by Williamson. Watching this, we can see the man is certainly not afraid. He has the mindset to be a player who looks like he could be a dependable, give me the ball and get out of the way type of star in the playoffs. He shows that fire on the court. Where is that fire off the court? Instead, off the court, we have just gotten a lot of weirdness. We've got rumors about Zion wanting to play for the Knicks. We got a 300 pound Zion at training camp. We watched as Zion missed an entire season. We had that weird situation where CJ McCollum on national television felt the need to tell us that Zion had not called him yet. We watched Zion in a big time national television ad throwing down a monster dunk as he was not actually playing in the 2022 NBA playoffs. And then we watched the Pelicans reach the top seed in the Western Conference. And again, we were let down as we watched Zion play in only 29 games and the Pelicans ended up losing in the play-in game. At this point, I'd say there is quite a bit of evidence against Zion. There is a lot that points to him never figuring this out and never becoming the player he truly could become. However, I am choosing to still believe in Zion because with everything we just said, I don't think that all of this is some unsalvageable mess. I do want to immediately say right now that Zion seems like a really nice person. He even just donated $250,000 to charity just this very day. And it might be an awkward truth in the NBA, an awkward one, but players do have children with women who are not their wives. That is something that has happened in the past quite a bit. We don't need to name names, but a few players have had over 10 children and young players getting a bit too caught up into the NBA lifestyle is definitely nothing new. What is important is Zion's support system around him and where his mindset is going forward because it doesn't appear that Zion is involved with any drugs or substance abuse issues. And I don't think that excuses any of his behaviors that have kept him off the court so far. But my point is here, we would love these NBA players to be perfect human beings, but we're not perfect human beings. And at the end of the day, plenty of NBA stars have found a way to perform on the court with off-court drama circling them. This is going to come down to Zion's mindset here. Does he have that mindset to go out and become an NBA legend? Because he has that potential. And I'm gonna say, I'm choosing to believe that Zion at the very least is going to show us a lot more than we have seen. Do we remember this moment against the Phoenix Suns? It's over. Pels. No, no, no. Get no. it done. And on the spin and the reverse, the slam by Zion. 
So Zion gets it on the 360 to close it out. The Phoenix Suns felt it was totally unnecessary. A 360 dunk to send a statement to the Suns, who had just finished first in the Western Conference last season. Does this at all look like a player who does not care about basketball? No, not at all to me. To me, I think a few of these Zion stories have piled up now in a row, and he's facing extreme criticism, and in year five, we are going to see a big bounce back. When I watch Zion on the court, what I see is someone who as a rookie showed us he was immediately ready to fill the role of an upcoming NBA star. When he was able to play, he was suffering real injuries, but when he did play, he took it right to LeBron. In back-to-back -back games against the Lakers as a rookie, Zion had 29 and 35 points. That was with everyone watching him. All of the pressure was there and he came through. And then as a second year player, he quite literally put up historic numbers. I've mentioned this in a past video, but there have been four players ever who have averaged at least 25.7 rebounds and three assists in their first two seasons in the league. Those four players are Elgin Baylor, Oscar Robertson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Zion Williamson, the first name in 50 seasons. Just this very season, the Pelicans were the number one seed in the Western Conference. Right now, we are talking about the Denver Nuggets as if they are an upcoming dynasty, and maybe they will be, but I'm continuing to look at the proof on the court, and on the court, with Zion playing, the Pelicans were good enough to be the top seed in the West. That talent is right there, ready to be tapped into. So with all of these things coming at Zion, personally, I would say, do not trade his max contract. I am believing in Zion's own words, which I'm going to end on, because when asked about all of this, Zion himself said, it's tough, I can't lie. From my perspective, I just wanna play basketball. I want to hoop. I want to play the game I love. But the reality of it is whether I check my phone, whether I'm just watching TV, no matter what it is, I can't really escape what the world thinks, what people's opinions are. So it's frustrating. I love this game. I say it over and over. For those people that think I just want to sit on the sideline just to sit over there, I don't know why people think that, but nah, it sucks. I want to be playing basketball for real. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.